tackles, break, stop fighting, pull away, re-engage, stop, stop fighting, pull these away, go to the top and start again. Pass command box. Well, this is a fight. When I saw on paper, I thought this will be a good one because I've seen both these boys in action. I uh, saw Nathan Guy to have his first fight up at the ABA in Auckland earlier this year, and uh, he, he was sort of stepped in pretty much on a, a short notice, and I thought he did a real good job. You can see that he's got the, uh, the height and reach advantage over his opponent Aaron Ray but I've seen Aaron Ray fight on two occasions and uh, I've been really impressed with him as well so I think there's a couple of young boys that um, have got a got a future in the sport and it's going to be interesting to see them up against each other here earlier on in their careers and I can already see that uh, since I saw Nathan Guy uh, who fights out of the Storm Force gym uh, the big improvement in him, as you'd expect, after uh, when I only seen him in his first fight, Aaron Ray, I saw a week ago, so uh, or a couple of weeks ago, and uh, was really impressed with him. So let's see, a bit of a battle of wills out there at the moment. Two differing styles and uh, two different plans of attack, by the look of things. Aaron Ray fights out of the Dynamite Gym in Tuakau, trained by Dougie Higgins. And of course, the Storm Force Gym. Norm Graham, the man in charge of there for Nathan Guy. And he's, uh, Norm's got a, a lot of good fighters at the moment. Headed by Johnny Hurricane Crapperton. And uh, Dougie Higgins doing a real good job at Tuakau. Starting off, with, wow, that was nice. That was beautiful work from Guy, and he, he follows it up, and Ray has to cover up a little bit. Tries to fight his way out by going downstairs and working the legs, but uh, there's a big wide duck kick right at the end of the round from Nathan Guy. And Aaron Ray goes to the wrong corner. I think it's just a loss of bearings and not anything that uh, he received throughout the fight that made him do that. Look at heavy out there, right? Look at heavy out there. Yeah. I'll put this in the thing you put. Can you grip me? Hoop speed is about to signal time on for round number two. Round two. Nathan Guy is using a, 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 doing a real good job of using the height and reach advantage that he has over Aaron Ray. So it's going to be interesting to see what Dougie Higgins has asked Darren Ray to do to try and counter that. A bit like a chess game, the old fight game. And with so many weapons, so many different options. And that Ray trying to work his way forward and use the kicks. Uh, I had to say that Goad was pretty good at, um, at blocking. That one we could hear from up here, so that was a good, but there's a good wind-up kick again. We saw him use that, Nathan Goad, in the previous round, and it's a, a good get-out-of-trouble shot, and he uh, forces Ray back into the corner. Ray's hands are good. He's not going to go away, Guy, and good footwork to uh, get out of the tight spot there by Aaron Ray. And uh, just short with that right hand. He needs to really land something big to, to try and get um, 
Nathan Guide on the, on the back foot. It's not easy. Um, they both go to ground. And that's exactly what he's been trying to do. He's been trying to get some go forward. And, and mouth guard come out in that exchange, and it is Aaron Rays. Out again, uh, a bit ill fitting, obviously. And everything that uh, God's doing is doing with a little bit of purpose. And another good round for him, round number two. So, a little bit of work for Aaron Ray to do at the end of the second. usual here uh, knees of fury 66 as they come out for the third and final round and as I mentioned a lot of work for for Aaron Ray to get back into this fight to get into a position to win and he tries to cut downstairs again once again, hang on. Not sure what that was for. Maybe it was misdirected. Um, I missed it, but I'll tell you what, uh, Aaron Ray didn't miss it. He wished he had a big wind up kicks. And he's used his size well as guide here tonight. Uh oh. Well, another one south of the border. And uh, there's the mouth guard again, so. That's the third time it's come out. Yeah, well, you know, I said that I, I like both these boys, but uh, it's been at the Nathan Guide show here tonight. It's like that Aaron Ray has brought the knife to the gunfight because uh, Nathan Guide has improved tenfold since I saw him have that first fight and I liked them back then I like him even more tonight because um, he's making a, a fighter that I thought was a, a, as a nice little fighter I like uh, Aaron Ray as I mentioned before the fight uh, but um, yeah he's just run rings around him here tonight and you know you have that night at the office where uh, it, nothing goes right and that's the sort of night that Aaron Ray's having and, and some styles just don't suit other fighters and obviously the, the style that Nathan Guides has got here tonight is, uh, is one that has proven very difficult for Aaron Ray to overcome. So it's a night at the office he'd rather forget but it's uh, a very impressive one for Nathan Guide. 
And uh, Norm Graham, as I say, top class fighter that he was, both in boxing and kickboxing, and uh, just expanding his gym. I saw on Facebook the other day to include um, morning sessions for the first time, and I forget how many years he said the gym's been running. But uh, certainly different gym now than it was when I first saw it, uh, the, uh, the little garage, three bay garage that he started off in, now uh, a fully appointed gym and turning out top class fighters. Remember the name. You're going to hear plenty more about them. <laughs>